Well, hello everyone, and welcome back. It is time today to go through and do what is a rather large gossip with lots of navels to have a look at. But before we get into that, it is time to do the latest treasure hunt. So this is for the cursed Wakashi blade. It's rated a three-star hunt, and it is actually for a floating pet next to you. So definitely something that's worth doing. Okay, so as always, you want to start along at museum and make sure you accept all of the items as we go along because you will need them for a merge shop. Next up is defeating the doom kitten if you're struggling with defeat and doom kitten damage over time is your best friend in that battle so just stick on classes that do damage over time and you'll be absolutely fine next up we need to go to moon yard b so in order to go there you need to join the hyperium go to chapter 5 here junk in the trunk and it will also join you over to moon yard b all you need to do here is just defeat the monsters that you can see me defeating on screen and you'll get yourself the steel amulet again make sure you're accepting that item next up over to join a super slaying and you want to go along and battle charadon except don't actually battle charadon you want to hide charadon and then you can click on our friend's hand over there who will give you the master pokeball once you've got the master pokeball head over to join a shogun war for the broken bamboo chunk and then literally head to yokai river and then you will find yourself the blade floating around with the merge shop that you can access and once you've done that you have got yourself a brand new pet Anyway, folks, let us begin then with our actual bit of gossip. Loads of data gifts have come out. Obviously, I've been away the last couple weeks, so we've kind of missed quite a lot here. But Talk Like a Pirate Day is next month. It's literally just round the corner now, which is why we have got so many navels flooding our screens. Not all of them will make it into the game. The vast majority of them will, however. So we'll start with the ones more likely and, of course, confirmed. And we will be going from there. Okay, literally just one more daily gift to show you after this. It's worth just pausing your screen on these if you haven't grabbed any items and heading over to the map at the bottom that it points you to. Okay, here we go then. Lays up first, fun collab of Snovers. Clearly an evil themed naval going along the shadow cipher and maybe even a Gravelin naval commander. So we'll wait to see how we actually go about grabbing that. Next up is the Paladin Slayer Pirate Captain. Again, featuring Snovers for this one. Really, really nice set. Kind of going down that Vordridge style. And then that leads us very nicely into our Grimskull naval commander. So if you're a fan of Grimskull and think there are not enough items for him in game, then you'll be able to get this one. Black and green theme looking very very nice and also a pet to go with it so this one's almost definitely going to be in the collection chest most likely next up we have aceal and as you can see we have teased a new j6 naval so that'll be very nice if you are a fan of j6 gear and the kind of bounty hunter look that will certainly be something for you now as we can see aceal's making that one so the previously teased set by prince sidon is no longer going to be coming into the game however you may be able to get your hands on a warrior naval commander and these various other suggestions that prince has put lots of time into drawing up so you never know, some of these may still find their way into the game in some shape or form. So we'll just have to stay tuned on that one there. Next up is Lay Funko Lab with Azef, and this looks very Five Nights of Freddy-ish. We've had that kind of thing once upon a time in the past, but we can only but presume that item will be for Mogloween. And speaking of Azef, here you go, sketching a Zan-inspired navel. I'm not sure whether that one is on its way into the game or not, so that will just have to be time will tell. Bido has given us a preview of the birthday gear made for 2023, while Kartos is introducing us to the Midnight Void Gunslinger. That'll come out for Mogloween by the looks of it, which is actually quite nice in my opinion to get a nation item for that particular event. Next up is Alvaro. If you head over to Alvaro's Twitter and have a look at this particular tweet, there is an enormous exploding animation that goes with that bomb. It looks really, really cool. No idea if it's confirmed for the game, but I do have my fingers crossed. And then also we got some suggestions for this really cool looking Vol Voltaire Naval Command, and out of any are going to make it in, surely it will be that one there. Hikari is also joining the party. This looks more like a pirate captain set to me, but I could be wrong on that. This is currently work in progress, so I'll provide you with updates as and when we get them. Here we have Blackstar showing us the Noxus Naval Commanders. They look awesome. I really, really like this one. Super hopeful we get this in some form in the game, but we'll just have to wait and see. There is also this Skull Crusher Naval. Again, looking really cool. And crucially, it is something different to what we usually get. So that would definitely be a welcomed addition. Here we have Mez re-uploading some designs of naval commanders. We have a wide variety here. I'll zoom in ever so slightly on them for you so you can have a good old look round and see all the different ones there that are looking really nice. And then lastly, and certainly not least, completely different and out of there, we have Aranx showing us Rolef the Celestial. Anyway, folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave the video a like and, of course, subscribe. We'll be back for plenty more videos coming your way. So until then, have a lovely day.